It is so good to be here with you this morning. And uh, what a special occasion. And in the midst of our Easter celebration, to have you being taking the step of faith, of being enrolled as senior soldiers and welcomed as adherent. So let me explain what the, the enrollment is about, and you're free to respond as I read these statements. All who wish to become soldiers of the Salvation Army are required to sign the Articles of War, and in so doing, they testify that they worship God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you testify to that? Yes. yes. Good. They have accepted Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Yes. yes. They desire to fulfill their membership of Christ's church on earth as soldiers of the Salvation Army and adherent. Yes. yes. They affirm their belief in the Bible as the Word of God and their acceptance of the Salvation Army's articles of faith. Yes. yes. Oh, there's a few more things that you have been studying. And as you studied, you said, yes, this is what I want to do with my life. And you can continue saying yes, because these are so important. They will be responsive to the Holy Spirit and seek to grow in grace. Yes. yes. They will make the values of the kingdom of God the standard of their life. Yes. yes. And that means that you will show integrity in everything you do, in maintaining Christian ideals in your relationships, upholding the sanctity of marriage and family life. Yes. You will be faithful managers and stewards of all that you have and all that you are. Yes. You will abstain from the use of all enslaving substances and harmful activities. Yes. yes. You will be active in God's work, both in sharing the gospel and in serving the needy, and will contribute financially to its support. Yes. Yes. You will be true to the principles of the Salvation Army. Yes. Yes. Well, today, as you stand here, you're giving witness of your resolution, of your determination to do so. And Irene and Bob, who have guided you through the preparation classes, they have Bible verses that they want to dedicate to you at this moment. So, Irene and Bob. It's been our privilege to get to know these young people a little better over the last number of eight to ten weeks. And uh, we are just thrilled to recommend them to you as soldiers and adherents of the Salvation Army. We have studied a lot of verses as we've been looking at the doctrines. In fact, lists of, of uh, scripture verses, but we've chosen a few. Although we've put names beside the verses, they are for each one of you. And uh, we've provided those for you with your articles of war. For each of you, in the busyness of your lives, remember this verse from Psalm 46 and 10. He says, Be still and know that I am God. Caitlin, from Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Jessica, from Ephesians 5 and 20. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amy, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Nefemi. Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. And Joseph from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20, Your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Amen. Thank you so much. And yes, we have with us Jessica Carter, Joseph Banjo, Nithemi Toluhe, and Caitlin Colley, and Amy Usme joining us via Zoom. And they are 
uh, those who will become senior soldiers and who will be welcomed as an adherent. Now I will read this declaration and at the end, if you agree with it, I will invite you to raise your right hand and say, I do. So Amy, you may want to unmute your microphone for this. Do you each declare in the presence of God and of those who are here to witness this ceremony that you undertake by the help of the Holy Spirit to live and work as a true soldier of Jesus Christ in the Salvation Army, according to the witness and promises you make this day. If so, raise your right hand and say, I do. I do. Amen. And so now, this is the moment when you seal that expression with a prayer. Bill will be playing songs that you have selected as you take this time to kneel and pray, and those who want to come and support you in prayer at this moment are welcome to join you then. So Caitlin and Joseph, when you feel ready, if you want to take your turn, that would be wonderful. moment. Amy, I am so glad that you're able to join us with Zoom so your mom and dad can be there praying for you. And what a privilege to see each one of you making this commitment before your family, before your loved ones, before your friends. And now 
I want to challenge you to do all that you can to keep up with the commitments that you have made today. And your family and your friends are here to continue supporting you in prayer, as I am as well, and our Corps Sergeant Major and every member of the Corps. We want the best for your lives. We are cheering for you. And we look forward to see all that the Lord is doing now and will continue to do through your life by the grace of God. And so it is my privilege at this moment, in the name of the Lord whom we love and serve, to accept your declarations and receive Caitlin and receive Nifemi and receive Jessica and Amy as senior soldiers of the Salvation Army, York, Mr. Citadel, yes! And Joseph, what a privilege to welcome you as an adherent of this congregation. Yes, we're so excited and so blessed to have you with us. And I invite you now to bow our heads in prayer as our Corps Sergeant Major David Marriott leads us in prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we just thank you for this day as we celebrate uh, the resurrection of your son, but also in the recognition of our five new young people that we welcome uh, as senior soldiers and adherents in this Corps. We ask you to surround Nefemi, Jessica, Caitlin, Amy, and Joseph with your love and we just pray that we will be able to guide and nurture them as their uh, church family and keep them uh, always close to you and in our prayers at all times. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.